Well, hello there. Welcome to day 34. It's week number five in our Why Pray series. Um, getting to the end of week number five this week, we've been looking at the three foundations and three functions of a home of prayer. Today, we're going to look at function number two, providing resources. I love, I love the stories in today's devotional. <laughs> Kids praying for someone to help them when their RV breaks down and being excited about it. I mean, really. I, I'm never excited when my car breaks down. In fact, nothing ruins my mood faster than, than hearing a knock uh, in the engine or hearing a wheel that's about to go out. But, but what if my misfortune leads me into a deeper experience in my prayer and my walk with God? <laughs> and then there's the story of the kids in the youth group singing a miracle, praying for something that is so out of reach for them that only God could step up and do a miracle to provide it. That is faith in God's provision. Do we really believe that God will provide for us when we ask Him? Sure, last week we explored that the Lord's Prayer shows us how to do that and and how part of that expression is that we ask Him to provide what we need every single day. And that's more than just food. That's praying that, that He'll give us the rest of what we need and that He'll give us everything we need to get the jobs done that are on our list, especially the things we feel God is calling us to do. We've heard countless stories of how God has blessed new churches with growth and people and resource. They commit themselves to building something that will allow them to do ministry in their area, whether it's a building or other resource. They set a goal, they pray, and they pray, and they pull their resources, and then they celebrate because God does a miracle that they prayed for. Back in 1999, it was amazing to see the new sanctuary that that YCC had built. And that that first service in that building was an incredible experience. I remember watching what God did in in town at Wildwood Calvary as people of that church set goals. And to this day, it's, it's amazing to watch their impact continue to grow. What is it that we're praying for? What resources are we counting on God to provide? Maybe there's a project that we can contribute to in order to see God's miraculous work continue. Do you believe that God will answer the prayers we pray? That that we would help build His kingdom? I know that we do. We should be praying for God's kingdom to come by by meeting needs, both physical and spiritual. So out of today's reading, this is the the reflection. What What are some of your experiences as a family in God's miraculous provision? What are some challenges you face in having God provide for you now? What, what, are, what are you doing in missions in asking God for supernatural provision to make disciples? And then today's meditation is just, it's just a scripture passage from, from the, the book of, of Matthew. It says this, Again, I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything you ask for, it'll be done for you by my Father in heaven. That is a promise. Are we, are we cashing in on that promise today? Let's pray. God, would you help us to agree on the things that that you have set before us? That whether two or three agree, you're gonna gonna say yes. And when, when our will matches your will, great things happen. So God, give us give us the right goals, give us the right plans. And then God, would you help us to succeed in in not just planning, but doing the things that you have set before us? Help us to achieve big things today. God, we pray it in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for joining us today. One more day tomorrow, day number 35 in Why Pray. See you tomorrow.